Alright, today we're going to be looking at Monster Fur Tool. Ooh. So, I really wanted to make really deep texture on this stuff. It has to be really pronounced. Um, so, I had to make a Monster Fur Tool. And this can be scaled. This is like a really big variation of it. This is a the teeny tiny version of it. I, mean, I can't even pick it up. It's so teeny tiny. Uh, there we go. So this one is the same version. Um, this is just a smaller diameter rod. So this is six gauge copper and this is, I don't even know what this is. So I just found it laying around, but it's that brass tubing that you find at most hardware stores so you can use either or with the workflow so here is this is a B head that I'm working on and you can see the let's see if I can get the texture there we go so that's really small here's my fingernail compared to that okay yeah that's what you could do with this tool so I'm going to show you how to make this tool for your arsenal. Flush cut the end. Flush cut pliers. Now depending on how you want to go um, as far as expense is concerned, again you can make tons of tools with the tools I'm showing you. Here is the cheap, for, the cheap way to go, and that's just a diamond file. Or if you have a Dremel, this is the other way to go. Okay. So what we have to do is just carve a nice channel in here. And the channel looks like this. And you, you see it? Don't worry about getting it smooth yet. That's a different process. So you can get as messy as you want. All right, so this is what I'm using. It's a Fordham or a Dremel. And yeah, just got this. And all I'm doing here is carving a little channel in here. I'm gonna to try to do this on camera. This is One of the secrets to this is if you're using a diamond, don't let it heat up. Oh, and this tool is about as painless as it gets, because diamonds at this level can't hurt you. So if it jerks a little bit, it's only me being too aggressive with it. So there we go. So if you're scared of rotary tools, again, the diamond file works really good for this too. You could just sit here and go. And that's actually pretty good. Because this is a coarser diamond. Wow. Alright. Yeah, that's not too bad at all. Okay. So the other side needs to be flat. So, a couple ways you could do that, okay, if you don't like rotary tools, here's a file, and you just go like this, and sh 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 until it's flat on the other side. I'm going to go do that on a sanding wheel, so I'll show you how that works.
right now we have to buff it. Okay, you can use red rouge and a buffing wheel. That's one way to do it. Or you can use a buffing wheel, and I'll show you what that looks like. So this is where you can make like a million combinations of this tool. Uh, you could over exaggerate this a little bit. And then rebuff it. So yeah, take it in any direction you want. I just have this tool already, so I'm going to make a little bit of a over-exaggerated one of these. So I'm widening out this fork. With my newfound love of the diamond file. That is what it looks like. So again, if it's off-center like this, uh, it's not too bad, but if it is off-center, it just makes a variation in the fur, and it kind of looks cool. So don't worry about having it too centered. You can see that little notch is not in the center. All right, so here's the tool we just made. You're kind of like, kind of like digging in to it a little bit and then pulling it out. It's kind of a rake effect. And a good tool doesn't leave the little boogers. Clay boogers. Gross. Even though they're kind of easy to clean up afterwards. And let's say I missed a spot, it's a good tool. You can just kind of go over it again and it doesn't mar it. But there we go. And here's a side view of that to show you how 3D that is. Doo -doo. Cool. The fur tool. Once you start making your own tools, it's really fun to kind of look at look at texture and say, wow, you know what, I need to make a texture for, but I don't want to spend two hours doing it. What is that texture breakdown? Enjoy.